They are the best entrepreneurs, very good entrepreneurs. You know, they didn't just sort of jump in and say, oh, we'll just get to the well lack kids today. They, they, they focused a lot on what is the essence of ability to bring the cost down at high quality and serve the meal, right? So they, they built this kitchen. This was the experimental kitchen to see if it actually works. And it was like a three, four million dollar investment. But they, they really, so, you know, this is like a bigger venture, but let's say some smaller ventures, you have to bring the problem down and really optimize it. Because you, you have to go through a lot of experimentation. You know, things don't work really well. <coughs> Once you perfect it, and you have a scalable model, then you can get scale it from there. And when you start scaling it, uh, most of the entrepreneurs have a very hard time. Because most of the entrepreneurs will be good in one thing or the other. Uh, they will be uh, very passionate about the cause. Uh, they will be good in operations, marketing. And, and so what happens is that as they start scaling it, they will they lack the ability a lot of time to actually attract the people. So number one, you have to understand that if you want to scale, you need other other functions. You know, when, when you start scaling, sales, engineering, marketing, customer service, all each of these things is like a chain. You know, it's all like food, right? And when you start scaling, there's a lot of stress. And the stress is sort of, it, it's sort of it's like pulling the chain. And when you start pulling the chain, what breaks the chain? Weak links. What will break the chain? Weak, weak links. The weakest link, right? So the weakest link could be finance, could be sales, could be marketing, could be engineering. But the entrepreneur will never think that way. Because he is so strong in something, he always thinks, let's say he's an engineer, he always thinks, oh, I can just make this product just a little bit better and then I can win the sale, right? And so having, you don't have to be the best sales guy, you don't have to be the best finance guy, you don't have to be the best marketing guy. But as an entrepreneur, you have to know that you need all these things to actually stay at night. Who is a good marketing person? Who is a good sales person? Who is a good finance person? So when you start killing it, you have to sort of, you know, scale it. So, you know, a leader, the same thing, a leader in, in, a, in an organization is somebody who is very focused on figuring out how we can make this a better world, a better place, right? He is, tends to be somebody who says, you know what, all of this is okay, but if we really want to change entrepreneurship in Pugli, I think we should get East and gone, right? So, Jenny and Naveen are leaders in my mind, right? Uh, they, they sort of came up with this new idea and now they tripped in. And so having that new idea and pushing it forward is very important. Now, but if the idea is very large, then you need a lot of people to manage it. Right? So the managers sort of come in and then you can say, do this and then they can do it. But that doesn't mean managers have to be managers. So the MBA institute really need to develop more leaders. And I'm very glad that all of you raised your hands and wanted to be a leader. Right? Uh, so, but that doesn't mean being a good manager is a bad thing. If you can be a good manager and a good leader, it's a very good thing. If you can be a good manager, a good leader, and a good entrepreneur, you will have But what you don't want to do is to is to sort of get stuck in something and a place where you're constantly going back to your boss and saying, oh, tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Uh, with all the education that you have, with all the opportunities that you have, that would be a wasted opportunity. If you if you start taking the opportunity, if you start sort of going to somebody else and saying, hey, tell me what you want me to do. And, and, and unfortunately, a lot of the MBA graduates, a lot of the even professionals in India have still haven't crossed that thing. You know, they're barely getting to the point where they're getting from sort of good individual contributors to maybe becoming a manager, right? And what I want you guys to do is to skip all these levels, right? I want you to become bold, I want you to believe in ideas, I want you to, you know, really because you know, India is right now is on a, just a tremendous growth path. You know, the amount of change that's going on in India is the enemy of the whole world. And so, in, you know, you've already seen the change. I mean, I know you're not very old, but if you just, you know, 
think back about 10 years and, and think of the way India is 10 years ago and 10 now. That's a huge amount of change, right? And, and if you go through it every day, you probably don't see it. But you should sometimes sit down and say, what are the big changes I've seen in the last 10 years? And there's quite a few. In the next 10 years, you'll probably see 10 times of that change because of everything that's going on. And every change is led by who? By an entrepreneur, by a leader, right? So there's a huge amount of opportunities in India for anybody who's got the guts, who's got the energy, who's got the passion to actually be that leader. Because you can be a change agent, right? And, 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 and so the opportunities are huge. So don't set your aspirations low. Don't set your aspirations to be so somebody who just goes and gets a job and manages a few things, you know? Uh, set your aspirations so that you are one of those people who actually can lead a major change to make this a better world, right? And, and it's that hard thing that can drive right? So, well, I'm going to take a little breather here and, 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 and let you ask questions. And what I, I'll do is, why don't we just accumulate maybe 10, 15 questions and then I can sort of find a way to maybe answer all of them. So, so what do you guys think about the questions? Mm -hmm.